Okay, boys and girls. One step forward, two steps back. The curse of Frankenstein continues. Now you remember in the other video I had a piece of glass cut. I had it in the car. Well, when I first put it, let me back up a bit. I had a piece of glass cut. The template was in the frame. The frame was in the car. I bring it to the glass company and say, here's the template, here's the frame. Make it, make it a little bit smaller than the template because you have to put the batting around the edge of the glass. To... I gave them the batting, okay? They said, do you want it tinted or not? I said, well, tinted would be fine. He sells me a piece of tinted glass. Little did I know it was illegal because you can't have it tilted tinted, excuse me, from the top to the bottom, only down just a little bit. Luckily, I was smart enough to bring the windshield to the people that do the inspection place, the inspection stickers, and say, look it, I don't have that little DOT approved sticker in my windshield. Is this going to be a problem? They said, no, but you can't use that windshield because it's fully tinted the top to bottom. Now, had I urethane that frame in, I would have had a hell of a time cutting that all back out again. Okay, so I bring the tinted glass and the frame, still assembled, I bring it back. Now, they used my batting, the, where I, where did I put that stuff? Anyways, it's cork, it's about, you know, this wide, it's real thin, 16th inch wide, rubber on one side, cork on the other, and you fold it around the glass, and you stuff it in the frame, and then you trim it. The first windshield had that stuff in it. I brought them a roll of it. I figure, okay, I don't want them to glue this glass in, because if it ever breaks, I want to be able to take it out easily. So I called them, I said, look it, I'm going to bring you some more of that same batting that I used, that, or that you used on the first windshield. Okay, use that. Okay, be ready on Friday. I says, well, I got Monday off, and uh, I'll pick it up Monday. No problem. I says, make sure you have the clear glass with the DOT approved sticker. They said, okay. Come Monday, I call before I head up there, because it's about almost an hour away. They say, no, we're having problems with it. It's not done. I call later on in the day and I talk to the guy, geez, you know, we can't, we can't get that, uh, use your batting because it's creating too much of a hassle and, uh, and we broke up a couple of pieces of glass trying to, trying to put it in there and uh, so we're going to use our batting. Now, here's their batting over here. I'm going to show you what they used. And all it is is just this little strip of rubber that they put, they put around there. Then they throw some electrical tape to hold it. Once it's in, then they trim it with a razor blade. Okay, cool. There's my new windshield clear. Okay. There's the DOT sticker. I bring it home tonight. Now, I don't have the tripod here to hold the camera. And you probably already guessed it wouldn't fit the car. Nope, wouldn't go in. Not only that, I want to show you how hard they banged on this frame to try to get to try to get it to fit the two pieces together. Can you see these holes right here? Can you see that this that the sheet metal is bent up right there and right there? There's two screws that go through the top frame. The frame, the frame has a piece, and I'll even show you that. See these pieces here? This is the top frame. Here's the top frame. There's the pieces. These slide inside here. Then you put the two screws in. All right? These numb nuts put the glass in, put the top in, didn't cut it the right shape, so they pounded on this end so hard that the screws were actually deforming the sheet metal here, actually pushing the sheet metal sideways as they tried to drive it down. It's no wonder that they broke four 
count it, four pieces of glass they tried to get it to fit. Now, the first piece of glass didn't fit right here in the center, center of the cowl. Let me back up a little bit here so I can explain this. Here's the lower part of the windshield. In the center, the glass wasn't even in the frame. Okay? It was just at the very edge. Not in the channel, at the edge. So they cut too much of the glass off. Now that would have been the first piece of glass that they cut. Supposedly from a template. Then they broke four more pieces trying to get it in. Then they sold me that piece, the clear, which would make the sixth piece of glass. And you know what? That glass doesn't fully fit. It does a little bit, but doesn't fully fit down at the channel. You would think after six times that they would get the glass cut the right size. Now, that's not all. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a crack right there. Okay? There's a crack there. There's a crack right there. And right in this corner here, it's kind of fucked up and cracked too. I don't know if this is going to focus here. But right in that corner. Okay? So here's another shot of the... Here's another shot of how they pushed up... Pushed up the sheet metal. See how it's, it's all pushed up here and there? That's from them two screws and they were driving it down. Okay? Now, this is supposed to fit in the car. They distorted it. It doesn't even fit in the car anymore. All right? It won't fit in the car. That means that they banged on this. This curved piece right here. This curved piece. They hit it so hard that they actually unbowed it. It's out s further this way now. Okay? So that means that this came out further. That's why it won't go in on this side. In this corner, I'm not done yet, this corner here, was, it wasn't, uh, how, how do I do this? Let's see if I can get this in here. Hold on with me, hold on, hold on. See how that's supposed, that those two edges, those two edges on a 45, well, they're supposed to be flush. Well, it wasn't flush. This corner and this corner, there was like a 3 sixteenths of an inch gap. Now, they unbowed this, spread this out, and then they, then they ham, that, that moved this out, okay? And they cracked it by banging on this. They deformed the whole frame so it would not go back in the car. So I had to pull the god darn glass back out again. The sixth piece of glass still doesn't fit the coupe. Now, the lady says to me when I went to pick it up at the counter, okay, she says, um, well, they had, a, they had a difficulty using your batting, the cork and the rubber, so they used our stuff. And that's when I tell her, well, that's funny because the windshield here, this green glass that I told them to save. I said, save the old green glass because out of it you can cut the quarter windows in the back. Because I made a template of what fits the quarter windows. Then I took that template... And I fit it over the piece of masonite that I first used as a template, and it would fit. You could cut two pieces for the rear windows, the rear quarter windows. 
I said, well, that's funny because that piece of green glass here was in that frame with this batting. She didn't know what to say. She got quiet. On top of that, I says, you charge me $20 to make a template when you could have used the old piece of glass that was in there and just modified it where it didn't fit on the bottom curve? Then I showed her where they banged up the screws. Then I showed her how the corners weren't, were instead of flush like this, they were like that. I, says, I told her, says, that shows me that this glass is cut too wide. It says, as far as I'm concerned, this piece of clear glass should have been free because you sold me a green one that's illegal and I couldn't even use. I told her, I says, you know what? I'm going to pay you the full amount. It came to $65 for another windshield and two quarter, two quarter windows. Plus, a, you know, that that's includes that $20 template charge. I says, I'm going to pay this, but if I get home and this glass does not fit the car, there's going to be a big problem. I am not happy with your service here. They destroyed the frame. I says, this frame is going to need repair work now. It's all sprung. I says, there's going to be big problems if I get home and this frame doesn't fit the car. And sure as hell, it doesn't fit the car. So now I got to screw around with this and I'm going to put this just like I did for sturdy home improvement, how they screwed me on my roof. I'm going to put this video up if I don't get some compensation. This windshield better fit and it better be free after all the bullshit that they put me through. Plus, plus, now I got to repair the frame. This is crazy. I'm going to call the manager. I am going to call the manager of the store. And I'm going to chew him a new butthole. This is insane. Now I told the girl, I says, you know what? This has nothing to do with you. I know it's not your fault. It's the guys out back. But you think if you had some kind of a brain, if after you broke one piece that maybe you were hammering it a little bit too hard, do you think after you see the screws shearing the, the sheet metal that maybe you're banging it a little bit too hard? They broke four more plates of glass in this frame. I'm surprised it doesn't, it still looks like a frame. The way this thing has been pounded on. Christ. Excuse me. Unbelievable. It just doesn't freaking end. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What I should do is I should lay that clear glass over the green piece and see how close it is. You know what I mean? If the green one fit the windshield frame, except for here, they could have left a little more glass at the bottom so it would be in the frame, it'd be fine because that frame was in the car. That piece in here does not fit the car. They destroyed it. They changed all the angles by pounding on it. Oh. I want my money back. Instead of $60, it cost me $120. Now I have to fix the frame and I probably have to get the glass modified. Unbelievable. You think it's easy making a hot rod? I tell you what, if I, if I had the equipment to cut the glass and grind it, I would have done it myself. This is why I like doing shit myself. You can't trust anybody. And these people 
I'm not going to mention their names. I'm not going to mention their names. Not until I find out whether they're going to compensate me or not. They're going to make this right. If they don't, I'm definitely making their, telling their name and their address and the town they're in and the state. And I am highly, highly stating a disrecommendation, even if that's not a word. I don't even know. I'm so upset now. I totally did not recommend this glass company on freaking believable. $120, six pieces of glass, bent the frame, and it still don't fit. Unbelievable. All right, I got to see what I can do to make this right. See what's going to happen now. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, and check this out. This is the this is the top corner, the top driver's side corner of the frame. Okay? See how it's split here? See it's all split here? I don't know if you can see it. But from here to here you see how it's bent in? You think they were pounding on this freaking thing right here? You think? I'm fucking believable. I just happened to notice that too. Down at the other end too. Let's see if I can. You, see if I can. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with this camera. It's not focusing. It seems to be stuck on uh, on manual focus here. Instead of automatic focus. But uh, let me come over here. It's the same thing on this side. See right here? From here to here, it's bent down. They're pounding the shit out of this corner. Jesus. It's all split. Look in right here. Look at this. I don't know if you can see the. This is supposed to be a nice even curve to match the dash shot. See how it goes up here and then kind of straight and then comes back down. They bent. They bent this. Let me see if I can get it a better angle. There it is. Look at that. Yeah. They beat the shit out of this frame. Unbelievable. These freaking clowns. Freaking clowns, that's all they are. What's this here? This is sticking out. I don't know if they hit that in there and drove that this way. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You want anything done right, you got to do it yourself. Unbelievable. Alright, hold on. Here's another thing I'd like to point out, the quality cut. See that? See that double line? That's because the underside was cut... A an eighth of an inch, an eighth of an inch smaller than the top side. They didn't even cut the glass straight. They scribed it. Looks like two different areas. They must have scribed it here, cut it, and then when they flipped it over to scribe it again, it was off of an eighth of an inch. And then we get it over here. It's still off, but then it comes back the other way where the bottom is an eighth of an inch higher than the front sheet. Jesus. Got a nice chip there. Hope that doesn't start a crack. I'm fucking believe. I'm, it's part of my French. I'm sorry.
I shouldn't I shouldn't swear. Unbelievable. Quality work, man. Quality work. Look at it. See it? Let me put it lined up with something dark. Here. The front sheet is higher than the back sheet. But when you get down at that end, it reverses the high sheet. You know? The, the bottom. And the bottom's pretty much the same. But, holy man. Maybe to figure, well, it's in the frame. He'll never know. You know what I mean? It's quality workmanship. I expect this from a Chinese piece of glass. Not from something cut in America. Unbelievable. Alright, I gotta see if I can fit this fit this piece back into the frame and get it to fit in the car. Okay, boys and girls. Once again, little Johnny had to pull a monkey out of his butt. Reach into his bag of tricks. There's the clear glass. There's the 45, the corners meet, and the frame is in. You know what I did? I took the glass out, I laid it on top of the tinted glass, that's the one that fit. The only problem was it wasn't enough, they cut it too close down here so the tinted glass was just outside of the frame here. But the clear glass, they left more there. Okay, I could see that. But the clear glass was 3 16 of an inch too long, longer than that. So what I did was I laid the clear glass underneath the tinted glass and traced where the tinted glass edge ended. After I lined up the top corners and got that end even, I came down this side and I trace with a magic marker I just marked in black ink on the clear glass how much was overhanging the tinted one then I went and got my belt sander with a brand new 40 grit belt and I ground the glass down 3 16 of an inch and these guys charged me another 20 bucks for a second template when they should have used that one. Unbelievable. You know what? I am going to put this on YouTube. I'm putting this on YouTube. Because I don't want anybody else. I'm sure, you know, just like with the roofing people. Okay? Just like with Sturdy Home Improvement, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that had great experiences. These people here at Greenfield Glass in Greenfield, Massachusetts. If you have an antique car and you want them to make you a windshield, steer clear of these people. Because they have no idea how to do it. They can put probably put a, a piece of glass in your storefront or in your window of your house with no trouble. But to treat a customer's piece of property and beat the hell out of it and disform it and crack it and go through six panes of glass before they could get one that still didn't even fit that I had to grind to fit and it took me 20 minutes and these guys had the glass um, let me see I brought it on a Tuesday and I picked it up today what's today Wednesday I think today's Wednesday they had it over a week and they still couldn't get it right. So Greenfield Glass gets a big thumbs down. No good. Do not recommend these people for your antique glass. They just don't have the finesse it takes to do the job without destroying your property. And, they, and then they charge me again for a second piece on top of it.
whatever. Okay? You want something done right? You do it yourself. There's my glass. Good night.